Today on the channel, we got a heavy hitter in the NECA Ninja Turtle cartoon line, Baxter and Master Splinter. Welcome everyone, Kyle here and welcome back to the channel for another Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles NECA unboxing. And this time we got the cartoon turtles and we got a heavy, heavy hitter two pack in Master Splinter and Baxter Stockman. Uh, kind of surprised it took this long to get these two in the line. As you guys know, Master Splinter is one of the heavy hitter characters. Outside of the turtles and Shredder, I think he's the next one you have to have in your set. Baxter Stockman, he's not quite to the Shredder, Krang, Foot Soldier, Bebop Rocksteady level, but I would say right after that, that's where Baxter belongs as far as heavy hitter villains. So I'm kind of surprised we got the Trag and Granitors, uh, the Triceratons, and some of those other characters before we got Baxter and Splinter, but hey, I'm just happy we got these. And the other great news, I don't know if you guys are like me, you can tell me in the comments below, but uh, this set was fairly easy to find. Uh, you know, at first, everything's hard to find, but you waited a week, two weeks. These were shipping in cases of six. I saw 12 at one store at one time. I could go around to my seven, eight local targets right now, and I guarantee I could pick up three or four sets. So there is some changing of the guard in the turtle stuff. As turtle anxiety is something we talk about on the channel all the time, there was no turtle anxiety with this one. There was really not a lot of turtle anxiety with the Krang either, as it had kind of the same thing going on. But I have a feeling, you know, when they're gone, the anxiety is going to start back up again. But as we're seeing with the Ninja Turtles, restocks are starting to happen. Uh, we got January, we've got a little bit of a turtle anxiety relief. January 2021, we're talking about here. As they're going to re-release Granitor and uh, the Triceraton, stuff like that, are coming around for another wave. So if you missed them the first time, you can get them now. Uh, and I'm sure they'll do that with Splinter and Baxter, maybe summertime or something. There'll be another wave of these that come out for people. So maybe turtle anxiety is lifted. I think a lot of the anxiety there was a lot of the COVID time frame. Uh, I'm going to do a video on the channel. Maybe it'll post before this. Maybe it'll be after. But just kind of the exclusive world and the reasoning for exclusives, all that kind of stuff. And I do think in the Ninja Turtle case for the cartoon turtles, I think a lot of it has to do is, hey, they're exclusives to Target. Target signs up for X amount. NECA makes X amount. Uh, they roll to the stores. However, as we all know, and you collectors out there, be it baseball cards, action figures, wrestling, you name it, we have seen during COVID, people have stimulus money. They have money from the government. They got uh, money from their jobs, whatever. There's a lot of money going around. People stuck at home. They can't go anywhere. They can't go on vacation. What are they doing? Hey, I'm going to start a collection. And a lot of people have great memories of the turtle line. These figures are awesome. They start collecting turtle figures. So what happens is the forecast from Target and NECA was done pre-COVID, before COVID was a crazy thing. There wasn't enough product to go around for all these new collectors that had just jumped on board. Uh, so I don't want to get too much on a soapbox. I'll try to save it for a different video of me explaining exclusives. As somebody that firsthand has dealt with exclusives at Target and Walmart with buyers and how it all operates from my chair, my point of view, one opinion, I guess. But that, I think, has made a lot of that turtle anxiety and a lot of anxiety with other toy lines. G.I. Joe Cobra Island, for example. But we'll talk about all that down the road. But we're here to talk about Splinter and Baxter Stockman. Uh, so let's look at the packaging like we always do, and then we'll open it up. So there you go. You can't beat that. There's old Master Splinter. I remember Baxter and Splinter. I had the original ones as a kid from Playmates. I remember always being disappointed uh, with especially the Splinter. It just didn't seem like Splinter. I mean, I got it. It was Splinter, but it wasn't the Splinter I wanted. That's why I love this line so much. It's like they walked right out of the cartoon. I think that was really cool. Same with Baxter Stockman, another great one. I remember the toy almost seemed like something out of the Fly movie. It didn't seem like Baxter from the cartoon. It seemed like a darker villain. I don't know if that makes sense, but it did. But uh, as always, love the unification of the uh, packaging on this. Everything uh, looks the same between every single release. I think that is really cool, especially for you inbox collectors. It looks all cool displayed together. You got the glamour shot of Splinter, glamour shot of Baxter down below, the turtle logo in the middle. Big window to see the product, all the accessories in here. I mean, they kill it with the turtle accessories and some super deep cuts for people uh, as well, which is really cool. And then you got their names up top and you got the yellow and green and the Nickelodeon logo there. 
You got the warning label, the Turtles, Turtles logo, Nickelodeon. Then on one side, you got the glamour shot of old Master Splinter reading his book. And then you got Baxter Stockman on the other side. So that's very cool. Then down below, you've got a uh, little who made the product, who did it, UPC, a little legal fun, all that kind of stuff. And then you got the back with the big glamour shots, a little blurb, and then there's a little checklist. And then the Turtles logo, Nickelodeon. So the first thing I noticed with these two figures, besides being really cool, is uh, very small figures. These two figures are very small-sized figures. Uh, makes sense. They should be. But uh, it's so weird when we're used to these big giant, you know, Triceratons and Trag and those kind of guys to go back to a smaller figure. But once again, we want scale. We, these should be littler than those. We want them all scaled correctly, and that's what NECA is doing. So I like that a whole lot. So that's it. That's all I see. I don't see any paint imperfections. I don't see any, issue, any issues here. So without further ado, let's open this bad boy up, huh? Let's get him open. Let's see the old plastic prison shot. All right. Pull it out. I think we've seen this background before. It's kind of the sewer there. You got the ladder go up to their surface area. Very cool. Always love the background. See you later. All right. What do we got? Holy cow. I didn't know about that. We'll get to that in a second here. We'll get to it now. Look at that. That looks like uh, the floor mat for the turtle's layer there. A splinter's little uh, mat he sits on. So that is very cool. I didn't know that was a part of this. This is the first time I've seen this. Uh, it's just, well, let's open it. If I can. I thought it was paper, but it's like a, boy, I don't even know what the material's called. It's almost like a, not a felt. See you later. I don't know. It's, it's not like a blanket, but it's not like a piece of paper. It's somewhere in between almost a felt. That's the closest thing I can think of. But man, that is really cool. You can put that down. As you guys know, I have a turtle detolf. I'll put this down in the sewer uh, era area. Very cool. I like that a lot. A nice little surprise. I didn't know that was in there. Man, we got a ton of accessories, tons of hands, tons of everything in here as usual. A little plastic prison shot there. Splinter and Baxter. Looking awesome. Really looking awesome. All right, so there they are in the plastic prison. I'm going to unbox these. I'm not going to bore, bore you guys with me unboxing twist ties and all that kind of stuff because it takes forever on these things. So I'm going to unbox them. We'll lay them out. I'll tell you my thoughts, and we'll uh, talk about it and compare the two. All right, after a half hour of me fighting with twist ties and stickers and everything else, uh, we're back to take a look at these, Splinter and Baxter Stockman. So I'm very happy to look at Splinter first. Uh, like I said at the beginning, a core character. Uh, have to have him in the Turtles collection, Turtles line. If you don't have Splinter, Master Splinter, in your Turtles uh, toy set, do you even have a Turtles toy set? I mean, you really have to have Splinter. So I'm very happy they made him. Does his mouth open? Oh, it does. So his mouth is very tight. It looks like it doesn't open, but it does. But here's uh, Splinter there. I mean, this looks way better than the Playmate Splinter back in the day. I mean, technology is so much better, everything else. So that's to be expected, and it should be. But, uh, man, this is just a game changer. This is the Splinter I wanted as a kid. This is the one we know from the show. And I love that mouth articulation. That is a really cool feature. Uh, very cool. He's got a soft goods robe. We know Splinter in his robe. What's he got underneath it? Well, he's got nothing underneath his robe. That's all he's wearing. He's like a young nature boy Ric Flair on a plane flight. Just wearing the robe. Nothing else. Uh, that's how Splinter does it. Big, big feet on Splinter, as you can imagine. I guess uh, human rats, human slash rat hybrids, they have really big feet. They're still small in stature, but really big feet. I don't know if you guys knew that. Uh, the tail is articulated, which is another very cool feature, so you can move it out of the way. It's got a little bit of a bendy wire in it, so you can kind of manipulate it however you want, which is another cool feature. I mean, NECA does an amazing job on these things. They give us really everything we want and more and stuff we didn't even think about, and that's what comes to the accessories. We'll talk about those shortly. But I uh, love this splinter. Absolutely love it. Does he fit on a ringside collectible stand? There's really no need for one. He does, of course, fit. There you go. Perfect. There you go. No need for one, though, really, unless you really want to. Is He's got such a big feet that uh, it's a perfect base for him. You can even use the tail to balance him if you wanted to. Um, so very cool. He does come with uh, tons of extra hands. Uh, two extra sets, then one extra. He's got a sword-holding hand uh, to hold the sword he comes with. And then he's got, uh, you know, this, this is probably one I'll use, the pointing finger, like he's teaching some kind of a lesson. Uh, and he's got this weird one with some uh, crazy... 
crazy hand gesture for his uh, rat gang signs, I guess is what that would be for. Um, he does come with a, a twist tie to keep the robe in place. I will never take this robe off because I'll never be able to get this twist tie uh, around back perfectly the way I want it. It never goes back the way it came. So I don't recommend ever taking his robe off unless you are really crazy, really adventurous out there. Um, so there you go. How about uh, old Baxter Stockman? Oh, got a little wire on him. Let's look at Baxter here. Like I said, both these figures very small in stature. They should be, though. But it's just a change of pace from what we've gotten recently uh, with the Turtles figures. You know, NECA, every once in a while, you can have some breakable pieces. you got to be very gentle. Leatherhead, he's got a little uh, thing on his belt that broke off for me. Metalhead, the switch, was uh, you could see the stresses in the plastic. So I'm not messing with that stress too much. Um, there's been some issues out there. But man, do these still look good. I mean, especially this Baxter. This is the Baxter I wanted as a kid as well. I mean, how cool is that? Those bug eyes. I mean, it looks like it just flew off the TV. Very, very cool. Love the wings on the back. They are articulated, as are the uh, extra arms, I guess you'd call those on the back. Articulated. Just really cool hair on him with the eyes flowing into the vest and the white shirt underneath. It's got the purple colors. I mean, the color on this is just pops. Very cool. I'll probably put him on a flight stand. Uh, that's probably the way I'll display him, kind of flying up in the air, buzzing up in the air maybe. Um, he comes with uh, two fists is how he comes here, but you got tons of extra hands, just like Master Splinter. you got two extra hand sets, so you can do whatever you want. You can have open hands, you name it. Uh, very, very solid figure once again with the Baxter. And, of course, he... Oh, does he? I thought he did. He might not. Yeah, he does. Yeah, you can get him on there. He's on the old uh, ringside stand. So if you want stands for these, uh, these continue to work. Uh, just uh, always, I know somebody would ask, so I always want to make sure I do that. But then we get into some of these accessories here. Just you know, a crazy amount. So Baxter comes with a potted plant. I have no recollection of this potted plant. Uh, Ninja Turtles is something, you guys tell me in the comments, can you watch Ninja Turtles on any of the streaming devices right now? The classic cartoon, the 80s cartoon, that's what I need to see. It's probably been 20 years since I've seen it. I really need to give it a refresher and go through it all again. Uh, some of these things get a little fuzzy. And as this line continues and we get some deeper, deeper cuts, I might not be able to remember all these characters. Uh, it's totally different for me than G.I. Joe, which I have watched consistently since it debuted. I watch it, you know, a couple times a week. I can never get enough G.I. Joe. I can watch this. I've seen every episode probably a hundred times. And I'm not even joking. Back when I was a kid, uh, the same episode G.I. Joe was on three times a day. And I will watch all three, three of it times. Uh, numerous VHSs, DVDs, stuff like that over the years. Now that it's streaming on YouTube, I watch G.I. Joe all the time. But I would love to do the same with Ninja Turtles. At least watch through one time just to jog my memory on stuff. I got a really good memory on a lot of the episodes, but there's some super deep cuts that I can't remember. Like this potted plant. It's probably in a main episode. I just do not remember the potted plant, but hey, it's a good accessory to have. Uh, what else we got? We got Baxter's gun. So I remember this. Uh, you can turn. It doesn't turn, but it has like a cat and a turtle and a, it's like a horse, a rabbit, an ant. It was the gun, and he could shoot people to turn them into something. Uh, and that's where this uh, fly splinter comes from. So splinter is a fly. Very famous episode. I believe he got shot with that gun. And I believe Michelangelo got shot with that gun as well, and he turned into a rabbit. So that's a cool nod to those episodes right there. Uh, what else we got here? We got a little rat, a small rat. I believe this probably represents Master Splinter before he got turned in, maybe. Uh, that's another cool one there. We got the computer. Now, I'm trying to go deep in my memories. I believe his name was Z. Was that right? Z, I think, was the computer's name. Uh, he was found on like a spaceship or something. I think Baxter, I'm guessing Baxter found him. That's why he's with him. But I believe that's Z. The one thing that's cool on this is it's got a spot like it would be able to peg in. I wonder if we're going to get an accessories pack for the cartoon turtles like we did the movie turtles that's coming out soon. I wonder if we're going to get a turtle cartoon accessory pack that might come with like a body for this. Uh, you got to do like a clear kind of a body type deal. I've seen some cool customs out there of people that have used uh, Marvel Legends Iceman and taken the head off that and put this on there. That's an easy custom job. But I wonder if we're going to get something like that from the turtles eventually. Because uh, it does have a hole here like you could peg into a body. So that could be a glimpse into something in the future. But we did get Z there. 
Uh, we got Master Splinter's sword. And then, I don't remember this either, but it looks, yep, I thought that's what it did. Uh, it looks like it, uh, you know, a flame sword. So, I don't know, did Master Splinter one day whip out his sword and put a little lighter fluid on it, set that thing on fire and get ready to go? I don't know, I don't remember that at all from the show, but a cool effect. I mean, you can have Master Splinter with that, so that's pretty cool. Uh, we got a gun. I'm going to assume this is uh, Baxter Stockman's gun. I don't remember that. I don't remember him shooting a gun. Um, maybe he did. Doesn't ring a bell to me. Uh, Master Splinter, his staff. Of course, we know this. This is probably, this is more iconic than the sword for Master Splinter. He always had his little staff cane with him at all times. Uh, I believe this is Master Splinter's medallion. I think there was an episode on this. Maybe I'm wrong. Somebody could tell me in the comments, but I believe there was a medallion episode. Um, the scroll... This is probably some wise teachings of Master Splinter on this ancient scroll. Just a nice accessory piece. A lot of accessories with these guys. We got an art book with Leonardo, Michelangelo, Donatello, Raphael. As we all know, Master Splinter named his turtles after the famous artists. So uh, that's a cool little Easter egg, I guess, maybe. But a cool book you can use. And then we got just a regular book that's uh, closed great i mean some of these accessories like this you could use with marvel legends you could use anywhere if you got a diorama going on a desk something like that uh these are very versatile generic almost like something like this that you could use so cool accessories cool hands cool figures another slam dunk in the turtle line you know i love the trag and graniators i love the triceraton uh guys they're cool they're awesome to have they're deep cuts which people respect i really respect a deep cut and a company taking a step to give us deep cuts that might not sell to certain levels, but these are two heavy hitters, Baxter and Splinter. You've got to have these two bad boys. You've got to have them in your collection. And luckily for all of us and for you guys watching out there, you go to your local Target, uh, you go to a couple of Targets, you'll be able to find this set. As of right now, at least. You snooze, you lose, is the old uh, saying. Uh, don't wait too long, but i had seen 6 to 12 of these, and I've seen pictures of 24 of these on the shelf at some Targets. So the opportunity to get them is there. Uh, and if you can't find them at your Target, I guarantee you go to one of the Facebook groups or somewhere online, somebody will get them for you for a cost plus shipping, I'm sure, if you're really that desperate. Maybe Target Online might even have some stock here very soon. But uh, really cool that everybody has a pretty good chance of getting these compared to some of the other sets, and that's the way it should be. Everybody should be able to at least get the Turtles, Shredder, and uh, Splinter. And we'll throw Baxter in because they're together. But uh, I really like this pack. I like this pack more than I thought I would. I love all the deep cut accessories. I love Splinter. I love Baxter. I think Baxter is a better figure as a whole. Uh, just the colors and the way it pops. This is how I remember Baxter. Um, but I need to watch the cartoon series again. i got to find a way. Hopefully it's streaming out there. I don't think it is, though. It's not on Netflix, Prime, or any of the majors. Uh, but hopefully one day it will be. Because I need to watch all these episodes one more time. So There you go. You guys tell me in the comments, did you pick this up? Your thoughts on it? Can you remember some of these accessories I couldn't remember? Maybe the episodes? Can you tell me where I can watch the Ninja Turtles? You guys let me know in the comments. Don't forget to like the video and don't forget to subscribe to the channel. So for Baxter Splinter, I'm rocking and rolling, strutting and strolling my way out of here. I'm Kyle. I'll see you guys all real soon.